Welcome to chapter two, metallurgical and chemical terminology. Things we're going to talk about in this chapter. This is what's going to be covered. One, atoms. It's three molecules, four grains and crystals, five compounds, six mixtures, seven solutions, eight solid solutions, and nine alloys. And we're going to discuss each one of these items uh, because this is the makeup of all the materials uh, in the world, including ourselves. Atoms is the basic unit of matter. If you cut a piece of metal in half, both pieces are the same metal. Early philosophers thought that this could be repeated indefinitely, no matter how small the piece is. But through modern science, we know that that's not true. Ultimately, a limit is reached at the atom. If an atom is divided, the new pieces do not have the same properties as the original material. They have the properties of what's made up in that atom. Atoms are made up of three types of particles, each with a different electrical charge. Protons. Protons have a positive charge, and they're located in the nucleus. Neutrons are neutral, and they have no charge and they're located in the nucleus also with the protons. Electrons have a negative charge, and it occupies space around the nucleus. It's also called an atomic orbital. Uh, with metals, there's an electron cloud. And here is a diagram of a carbon atom. And you can see the protons and the neutrons inside the nucleus. And this is a carbon atom. And the electrons are cruising around the outside of the nucleus. And if you notice, there are six negatively charged electrons and six positively charged. Let's talk a little bit about the nucleus. Over 99.94% of the atom's mass. So basically, all the mass is in the nucleus, which consists again of the protons and neutrons, typically similar in quantity, meaning there's usually the same amount of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. <clears throat> quantity of protons for an element does not change. Different quantity of neutrons results in isotopes of the same element, such as uranium-235 is an isotope of uranium, making up about 0.72%, remember that's 0.72% of natural uranium-238. U-235 is weapons grade and different because of three fewer neutrons. Anatomy of an atom. The nucleus is composed of the protons and neutrons, like we said in the previous slide. And of course, the outer rings or shells are electrons orbiting, which means occupying space around the nucleus. Now, the first ring can contain up to two electrons. The second ring can contain up to eight electrons. The third and subsequent rings can hold up to 18 electrons. Ions. Atoms are neutral because there's an equal amount of protons and electrons. Ions are charged particles formed from atoms that have lost or gained electrons, resulting in an unequal electron-proton ratio. So if they have an electron loss, it has a positive charge. If it has electron gain, it has a negative charge. Positive and negative ions are called cations and anions. Cations are positively charged ions, and anions are negatively charged ions. <clears throat> They're formed when a metal loses electrons and a nonmetal gains those electrons. The electrostatic attraction between the positives and negatives brings the particles together and creates an ionic compound, such as sodium chloride. A metal reacts with a nonmetal to form an ionic bond. You can often determine the charge of an ion normally has the element's position on the periodic table. The alkali metals, the 1A elements, they lose a single electron to form a cation with a one positive charge. The alkaline earth metals, which are 2A elements, lose two electrons to form a two positive cation. Aluminum, a member of the 3A family loses three electrons to form a three positive cation. The halogens, which are 7A elements, 
all have seven valence electrons. All the halogens uh, gain a, a single electron to fill their valence energy level, and all of them form an anion and a single negative charge. The 6a elements gain two electrons to form anions with a two negative charge. The 5a elements gain three electrons to form anions with a three negative 